Hey everybody and welcome back to Diva Styles. In this video, I'm pretty much going to be showing you, um, I guess, uh, a Shopkins themed cake. What are those? Cake toppers. It was requested for me to do Shopkins uh, theme, but you can apply this to anything that you're doing for any event, wedding, you know. Okay, so if you look in this picture, I mean, you. this is why I say you can apply this to anything. All you're doing is taking images that you find on Google and just putting them onto the paper. For example, they have the um, the Shopkins logo right there. So I went to Google Shopkins logo. Bam. Very first one is right there. So I'm going to add that to my uh, paper. Now, the only thing you might have to worry about is, um, you know, all cakes and things are different sizes. So you have to know the style cake that, that you're trying to decorate or what size uh, the customer wants. You know, if they have a specific size, this is kind of small. So I would definitely, we would definitely need that to be bigger. Okay, so right now, let's see if we can get that to like three right there. Okay, that looks good, three by six. That actually looks, let me turn the, the lock aspect ratio off. Six point five. Okay. That looks that looks really good. Now, uh one thing that you do want to be careful of when you are, you know, finding images is the images have to be um large images. They cannot be small. Uh and I'm going to show you why. If I can go down to Shopkins. Okay. These are my Shopkins images. Okay. Yes, this is why. Because if you get a small image and you try to make it bigger, it will be blurry. You see how this is still crisp and this is blurry? So make sure that the images that you are saving are big in size. Okay. Now let's go ahead and insert... Uh, Where's that basket? Shopkins. Okay, this. Okay, that works. Yeah, I think that's the same one they got too. Yep, that's the same exact one that they have. Now, you can get rid of this white background, set it transparent. That way it's not um, getting in the way of that one. But yeah, this is pretty much all that you do, you guys. Um, then this right here is one that I have in my shop that people buy all the time. Um, all you're doing is just making pictures bigger, putting them on the, you know, the paper, and then letting people cut it out and add it to their cake, pretty much. And as you can see, this person right here, can I can I zoom in? Uh. This person over here added theirs with straw, straws. It looks like they attached their images to the straws. Um, a lot of people also do it with uh, toothpicks or the wooden dowels. Let me see. Uh, do it yourself. Cake toppers. Yeah, cake toppers. Yeah, see, there are so many things that you guys can do, like, for any and all occasions. Especially if you got the, uh, you know, that cutter thing y'all been telling me about. This is, like, perfect for that. Okay, now here we go. Here are some printable uh, cake toppers. This is why I said this is for any and all occasions. Like, look at that. They did banners. You could do names. And you can do it, or you could just sell the actual file. I'm actually trying to, I would like to eventually convert my shop into just an all PDF file shop. But, um, yeah, you guys, like, that is really it. All you're doing is putting the images on the thing, printing it out. Yeah, and that's pretty much how you do the cake toppers. So it is definitely up to you. 
or not really up to you, up to your customer. So definitely ask questions about, you know, the size, uh, the type of cake that they have, if it's square, if it's circle, um, you know, if they might want the straws, the dab. I don't. Well, if you take a do it and take a picture of it, then they're pretty much getting whatever it is that you've done. So that's how that goes. But if you have any um, questions at all, please feel free to ask. Um, comments, you know, I love hearing from you guys. And as always, I will see you guys soon. Bye.